I wanted to do a cartwheel or something to intro this video, but I don't want to hurt myself, so maybe not. What's up, nerds? Dre here, finally back with a traditional review. Today we're going to talk about another anime that I came across on the Anime Network. Today we're talking about Kaleidostar. Kaleidostar is probably one of the most economically beautiful series I've ever seen. This was actually one of the few shows that I started watching from the beginning, because the first few episodes just happened to be available. It's about a Japanese girl named Sora Nagino who goes to America, I think somewhere in California, to audition to be part of the Kaleido stage, basically a super fancy circus. She's a self-taught gymnast who dreams of being a star. Also, she went there as a child and became completely obsessed. Unfortunately, due to a series of unfortunate events, she misses her audition, and even after she appeals to her idol, the beautiful blonde Layla Hamilton, she is told to go back to Japan. However, she happens to have met the owner of the Kaleido stage during her journey to the audition, and he lets her join the company at the behest of Layla because he can tell that Sora is destined to be a star. She also gets help in the form of Fool, the spirit of the stage, who only she can see. Yeah, it actually gets a little supernatural there, but they keep that to a minimum. Most of the series is actually pretty grounded. Well, grounded in a glee type of situation. Sometimes they have days or even hours before a performance, like a trapeze performance, but honestly, most of the time they don't actually nail it, so I think that's a little bit more realistic than glee, actually. That's one of the things I love about this series. The characters really have to go through a lot of trial and error. Yes, there are people who are prodigies and all that, but most of the characters really have to work to achieve their dreams. So let's talk about the characters for a little bit. Of course, we'll start with Sora. She's our clumsy but determined self-taught gymnast. She definitely makes the most mistakes out of everyone, but that's kind of part of her charm. She almost never gives up. I say almost because yeah, she's realistic like that. You can't never give up. The two that end up being her best friends, Mia and Anna, are great characters as well. Mia is a Dutch member of the company who is amazed by Sora's determination. Sora eventually helps her realize a passion she didn't know she had that she pursues in the company later on. Anna is a lover of comedy and has a passion for bringing laughs to all the kids who come to the shows. She often gets stuck with serious princely parts, but she always does her best regardless. We also have Ken, a major simp for Sora. Yeah, that's a lot of what he does, but he's also super helpful to everyone at the Kaleido stage. He's your classic stage manager who does everything he can to help, especially since he isn't healthy enough to perform the part himself because of a weak heart. Of course, you have our, let's call her a Sasuke character. The beautiful, talented, rich, blonde Layla Hamilton. She's the star of the Kaleido stage and Sora's idol. While she's a little bitchy towards Sora at the beginning, she is eventually won over by how hard Sora works for her dreams. Layla is my favorite character. And Yuri is Yuri. Anything I have to say about Yuri is a spoiler. The last person I'll mention is Leon. He's actually a character from season two, but I bring him up here because, oh, just look at him. He's definitely my type. A talented, stoic, long-haired snowdrop. He's also an asshole and I love him. Anyway, let's talk about the dub for a second. It's very early 2000s, but I think that's a part of the charm. I also think it works great for this particular series, especially since a lot of the characters are American with very common names. They do mispronounce Sora's name the entire time though, but that's probably what would have happened in real life anyway, so just go with it. Overall, I really do like the dub, but it's probably nostalgia talking. Also, some really great voice actors are in here. Cynthia R. Martinez as Sora, Jay Hickman as The Fool, and one of my favorite VAs, Lucy Christensen as Sarah DuPont, who I didn't mention, but she is kinda an important spoiler character. So anyway, I mentioned at the beginning that this series is economically beautiful, and I'm gonna have to explain that. Everything from the character models to the music to the constantly reused animation was done on the cheap. However, you don't really notice because the beautiful feelings of what they're trying to convey 
really shines through. With the use of stills, they are able to bring you the sensation of the trapeze artist really flying. It's amazing how they're able to do this. While yes, there are some really janky moments and some off-model stuff going on, but I don't think the series has awful animation. I do think that if this was a series more people cared about, it's one that could do with a higher budget reboot. But that'll never happen. Lastly, let's talk about all the media that encompasses this work. The anime has two seasons, 51 episodes. There's an OVA called Kaleidostar New Wings Extra Stage, a TV movie called Kaleidostar Legend of Phoenix Layla Hamilton Story, a second OVA called Kaleidostar It's Good Good, and a sequel manga that follows Sora's sibling called Kaleidostar Wings of the Future. I've honestly only seen the two seasons of the anime, so who knows if any of that is good. Also, most of them are well out of print. And I thought the original series was too, but I found out recently that it's actually all on Crunchyroll. Of course, it's dub only. You gotta do what you gotta do. Well, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you had a fun time, and let me know in the comments what other older anime you'd like me to talk about. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell so you're notified when I actually follow through with a video idea. Um, fun fact, the script for this video was written two weeks ago and it took me until the day before I'm uploading it to record and edit. I need to get my life together and it's not working. We've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. Also, I keep scrapping video ideas lately, so I'm surprised they even stuck with this one. Also, please check out my Instagram where I post every once in a while and my TikTok where I post whenever I get a funny idea. Please have a great rest of your day, week, month, and year, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. All right. Am I, am I at the end of the frame? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna do a cartwheel <laughs> for the first time in two years. frame yes <laughs> okay I'm not gonna you're do right it. in the middle okay I'm not gonna do it again <laughs> she did it <laughs> <laughs> Ow.